This is your last one, mate. You're not going to get Can we just start with the big news in the room? Sure. Cameron's last day. <laughs> Cameron Times. Thanks for everything you've done, mate. You've been a real supporter of the Brums, and uh, we appreciate everything you've done. Okay, we done then? We'll go. Uh, well, oh, you want some questions? Okay. Congratulations on the result, Matt. What is the, um, your mood and the mood of the team after a really impressive week? Uh, yeah, tail week is, is always a tough week for us. Um, I thought we controlled the emotions quite well at the start of the week, and then uh, the players led it through Das, um, an emotional charge when we got out on the field. Um, and look, the, the score blew out there a little bit. It was a really tough game for the boys. Um, lots of physicality from the Waratahs. Um, and it is, it's just great to finish this block that way. Um, we know we've got a long run now um, for the next block, but uh, uh, there's a lot of things that haven't gone right for us. Um, we've managed to find ways to win the games through this period, and um, that you know, puts us in a really good position now to, to learn from our mistakes and hopefully uh, get away from the game this week and then come back and really try and grow into the, the second half of the season. How did you find a way to break the game open? Did you play at 9 six, just a bit of a stroke of half-time over the cross of the game? I mean, how did you find a way to really, as you say, blow a bit blow open the second half? Uh, we, we just went back to um, what we said we'd do at the start of the game when we came out in the second half. Um, mm. We'd, we'd spoken about how it was going to be a grind. We, we knew that these guys are, you know, they've lost five games by less than five points in the last couple of minutes of the game. So they are a very dangerous outfit. They've scored some amazing tries this year and they've got some really dangerous attacking players. Um, so we'd sort of prepared ourselves for a grind and, and we just sort of went back to what worked for us uh, at the start of the game. Now, we got down the field okay, but we couldn't convert inside the, inside the A zone there. So. Um, Eventually, you know, the, the scoreboard puts a bit of pressure on the opposition and then they start chancing their arm probably a little bit too much. Mm. They, they turn the ball over and then we capitalised on that. Um, in the end, you know, some penalties that uh, uh, we kicked to the corner and, we, and, you know, there was some good attack for the, for the conditions that were out there. There was some pretty good attack in that second half as well from our boys to, to finish off the game like that. How Yeah, and, and we sort of thought, I guess, when you look at the, the forecast, the rain was going to disappear around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Um, and then we started the game clear, and then it just bucketed down there in that first half. And, yeah, tough for the crowd, um, particularly in the bowl area, which is obviously a great atmosphere when the weather is good. But, um, yeah, like we've, we've been chasing um, bigger crowd numbers for a long time now. and. Um, you know, the, the people that come out on, on nights like this are certainly very much appreciated. We've always spoken about how a big crowd can lift the confidence of the players, create a great atmosphere, and, and we play better rugby, and I think we certainly saw a bit of that in the second half. Did you expect the boys to sort of keep the in position? Yeah, I did. I did. I think, um, you know, you don't really know when you're looking from the sideline. You're just assuming it, it's really wet and, and slippery. Um, but they can make the, the call on the field and um, like I think the ball is still slippery but they, they managed just to get used to it in that second half and um, yeah that, that try to Charlie down the edge that went through you know five sets of hands there for him to score in the corner in those conditions yeah it's good rugby and that's what we're trying to do you know we're, we're trying to like every team in the competition we're trying to create a better spectacle so that we can get some crowds back into the game and, and start to appreciate and love the game again. Uh, yeah, for us, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, it just sort of affirmed what we spoke about before the game. It was just going to be a grind, and you know, if we just keep staying in it, uh, like, uh, like it, we'll get we'll get pay. So we spoke about that, and just just being hard on on the basics, and yeah, they 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 paid so. Yeah, it's just just getting back to the basics. The boys will be really happy with that one. Oh, yeah. Like like Steve said, like it blew out there in the end. But I mean, it was it was a tough game all night. Like, they're a really physical side, and uh, 
yeah, they throw the they throw the ball around too. So um, yeah, at times it was really difficult, but I, I can't really pinpoint any any sort of certain time that it it, it blew out or it, it felt like we we were up on them. Maybe late in the second half, but certainly all those passages early on early in the second half they were on top of us. Um, obviously got that late try in this in the first half, but like, they were all they were all grind. Yeah, they were all, all, all really hard grind. So yeah. I don't know where you were, the Bobby's try, but just the physicality yeah. of it. Just, what was it like? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was behind him. <laughs> yeah, he's a mammoth of a man, isn't he? He's a, he's a beast. Boys call him uh, gra uh, graphite or salmon. He's a big, he's a big bear, just swats out salmon. Back out of the, <laughs> out of the river. <clears throat> Boys call him salmon. Yeah, granite, sorry. Um, yeah, he's just a mammoth of a man, isn't he? Um, like, if you, if you don't get him top of him, he just gets on top of you. Simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I can't do that. <laughs> I try to do that. Did, did you feel like you were getting up in the first half? Like, you had uh, ball territory, you had yeah. so many attacking raids. Yeah. Well, yeah. We just, we just couldn't, couldn't capitalise on it, I think. I think we just got lost a couple of times. And, uh, you know, we, it's, we tried to share the load, but. Maybe sometimes we're a bit sloppy and, and, and lack that sort of urgency to, to the breakdown um, from memory, but like it was just it was just a good effort to stay in there, you know. And sometimes you just have to step up and take those threes and, and put put pressure on the on the scoreboard uh, on the opposition. So yeah, we did that really nicely. And I think it was nine three or nine six, yeah nine six at one point. And they probably felt like they had the ascent. I, they probably felt like they had the ascendancy. Certainly, they defended really well in the first half, and we couldn't get we couldn't get through to them. But um, you know, to be up still by three points there, that's that's like a knock for us um, on them. Yeah. Why are they? Yeah. Uh, no, not really. Just just a wet night. Yeah. Um, like I had some really good ones there early on. Um, probably a couple of bad calls on, on my behalf, but yeah, for the good part, we were really good. Um, probably just a lesson there for all of us. Uh, fruit and fruit and myself, just to just to go to the front, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's really he good. A couple of, a couple yeah, of yeah, so. yeah. He certainly did. Um, but you know, on the other side of that, Charlie Carroll like, and Fruity just putting mm. a lot of pressure on their ball as well. Mm. I think they didn't win. You know, I think we we strung together three or four steals in the first half. So, yeah, like it was <clears throat> it was a difficult night to win ball. Uh, both nights, you know, both teams probably sitting at under eighty percent there. It was just really difficult to win clean ball. You know, hookers have got a slippery pill in their hands. Um, they're obviously two blocking, forcing the throw right over. So you've got to be tip top in terms of your drill. And yeah, at times we weren't, you know, we paid for it. So, and then there was a couple of times where I could have just called to the front or called to easy space. Um, so yeah, there's just lessons in there for us. Do you force the bonus points at all? Um... Bit of both, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, totally at the end there, holding guy up was um, crucial. Uh, mm -hmm. And then it's probably our best defensive game outside of Rebels round one. Rebels round one, which was three points, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, we've been talking about that for a while, just trying to keep um, the opposition tries to a minimum. So, I'll take both, thanks. Do you feel like, um, and you talked about defensive changes and Taking the time to defend, and do you feel like that's getting better now? Like, the table shows that you know you're defending, you're conceding as fewer tries. Yeah, we're getting better. Tackle completions, success rates, obviously aren't so much. Yeah, I mean, if I don't know, if you, if you talk about stats and you say, would you take the tackle completion or would you take less tries? You'd probably take less tries. Like we're working harder, obviously missing tackles. Other guys have got to cover for us, but. Um, we've spoken about how we are improving every week with defence, but like I said before, there's there's a lot of things that we need to improve um, in this next block of games. It looks like you've really got um, some play and dust and as well. You up the line speed that's second half and really try to choke them. Yeah, and then they found some gaps as well, so it's, yeah. it's, it's a real trade off there, particularly when there's dangerous players like that, um, you know, coming off the line and, and leaving your inside man. Um, exposed, um, hurt us a couple of times there. So, yeah, like we've been working hard at, at trying to get that balance of, of bringing the line speed and, and finding a connection. And 
Uh, we got hurt a couple of times tonight, but it didn't result in any tries. So mm. there's a good scramble from the boys. How did it feel when Justin decides time to put the foot down and charge over the defence? Yeah, I think if we just got a uh, time to set um, and, and we set before the attack, but I think when, when they sort of got through us, it was it was the opposite. They were set early and, and there was gaps there for them. So, yeah, it's just about sort of slowing their breakdown down and, and, and being set before they, they are so that way we can we can actually get up and make good decisions. Do you feel like you need more comfort in this system? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. You've just got to uh, keep pushing it in training and, and, and make mistakes and, and, and make mistakes out there as well. Um, and then we just look for improvements. Um, yeah, because it's a new system, obviously. It's always going to take time to to perfect, I guess. But yeah, we're, we're certainly working towards it. Yeah, yeah. No, bloody does. I think there's yeah, there's heaps of guys from you know, not just in the 23 or the squad, but in our pathways that come down from Sydney. You know, like a, a lot of guys that. that a bit of a chip on their shoulder, and that, that certainly means a lot for us. You know, we, we've always been considered the, the little brother, and, and and all of that sort of um, you know stigma and stuff. So yeah, yeah, it does it does mean a lot. But, yeah. No. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I lost one back in like 2018. I wasn't playing, but yeah, I was part of the squad that lost, so, um, yeah. Just on, on record that he wasn't playing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I had to drop that, yeah, <laughs> I had to drop that. Um, yeah, but no, I can't sort of remember too many times. There's always been close, like, they're bloody close games always, so. Uh, Steve, mm -hmm. Um, the crossbars weren't easy <coughs> in terms of. On the northern end, yeah, yeah, and did Noah's did Noah's go over on the on the shorter side? Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> um, oh, there must be some issue there with the foundation of the goalpost. We'll, we'll investigate that. Yes. <laughs> Groundstone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Hey, yeah. Uh, I thought Jimmy thought someone was taking a piss for a second.